Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says Let S be the sum, P be the product and R be the sum of reciprocals of n terms in a GP. Prove that P square into I raised to the power n is equal to S raised to the power n. Let us now begin with the solution. And let the GP be A AR, AR square, AR cube up to n terms. So the sum of these n terms, let us denote it by S, will be A into R raised to the power n minus 1 upon R minus 1. Well, let us suppose R is greater than 1. Now let us find the product P of all the terms of GP. So this will be equal to A into AR into AR square into so on up to N terms. So we have A raised to the power N into R raised to the power 1 plus 2 plus up to N minus 1. So this implies a raised to the power n into r raised to the power n into n minus 1 upon 2 since to find the sum of 1 plus 2 plus up to n this is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 and here the last term is n minus 1. So the sum from 1 to n minus 1 is n into n minus 1 upon 2. This is further equal to a raised to the power n into r raised to the power n square minus n upon 2. So this is p. Now let the value of s be equation number 1 and the value of p be equation number 2. And now let us find R, which is the sum of reciprocals of the term of GP. So 1 upon A plus 1 upon AR plus 1 upon AR square plus so on up to N terms. Now here the common ratio R is greater than 1. So this implies 1 upon R is less than 1. So R will be equal to 1 upon A into 1 upon r raised to the power n minus 1 upon 1 upon r minus 1 which further implies that 1 upon a into r upon 1 minus r into 1 minus r raised to the power n upon r raised to the power n or this can further be written as 1 minus r raised to the power n upon a into 1 minus r into r raised to the power n minus 1. So this is the value of r and let this be equation number 3. Now we have to show that p square into r raised to the power n is equal to s raised to the power n. So let's start with the left hand side which is p square into r raised to the power n. Now p is a raised to the power n into r raised to the power n square minus n upon 2 whole square and r is 1 minus r raised to the power n upon a into 1 minus r into r raised to the power n minus 1 raised to the power n. So this is further equal to a raised to the power 2n into r raised to the power n into n minus 1 into 1 minus r raised to the power n whole raised to the power n upon a raised to the power n 1 minus r raised to the power n n into 
r is to the power n minus 1 into n equal to a raised to the power n. These two cancels out and gives us a raised to the power n. Now these two also cancels out and we have 1 minus r raised to the power n 4 raised to the power n upon 1 minus r raised to the power n which can further be written as a into 1 minus r raised to the power n upon 1 minus r whole raised to the power n and a into 1 minus r raised to the power n upon 1 minus r is s. So we have s raised to the power n. So we have p square into r raised to the power n is equal to s raised to the power n. So this completes the session. Take care and have a good day.